Welcome back gamers. It's been a whole year since the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game released. I still can't believe it. And I want to talk about it in this video. Just to, you know, kind of go over how the one year anniversary event is going. And uh, I think there's no better way to start this discussion out than uh, with a little montage. Getting something from Bellington. Right here, to storage. Whoa, Anna just disappeared. What is happening? This crawl space is just opening and closing. <laughs> it is pretty spooky. I, that's weird. That is what is this over here? Oh, that's Look sunny. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Those are just a few of the bugs I ran into, personally, <laughs> while playing. Uh, there technically were a few more I could have added in, like the lobbies being really, really janky, and the lag in-game being pretty terrible, but uh, those even just were a headache to even think about putting in, so I chose not to. Um, now let me preface this by saying I really am a, a huge fan of this game. I do love it so much. I am a huge gun fan. I'm a big TCM shill, you know. There's no one out there that still loves and supports this game like I do. Um, but really at this point, it's even hard for me to kind of just say, you know, it's doing all right. Um, while I do think, you know, losing the game from Game Pass is a big deal. Um, I don't think it's a huge deal at the end of the day. It still stinks. It had to happen right now at the anniversary. Um, you know, just bad timing. And, and really, speaking of the anniversary, which is, you know, what this whole video is about... The fact that it even sort of got delayed on Thursday is super unfortunate, and then it just still came out a few hours later. Like, what's that about? If it was going to come out in this state, I don't think they would have released it. Um, I, I don't understand how it gets delayed and comes out. It is as messed up as it is. It's definitely the buggiest patch that we've ever gotten. I know, I guess the next big one people really talk about probably is like the virginia patch even that the game was still playable you know her skill tree was bugged some perks were bugged uh, you know it wasn't the perfect update but like really this this update is above and beyond the worst we've ever had in the game because it, it's almost unplayable at some points um it just makes me sad i mean we have this fantastic game that has so much potential it's on the edge of being you know just fantastic all around it's just another kind of slap in the face that we got <laughs> with with the update thursday um you know we've, we've had the nice kind of roadmap with the content pass announcement you know just two weeks ago or whatever um everything's looking up to you know a great second year um and then boom this this happens everyone was hype everyone was excited and you know it, it's it's just hard i've played the game since launch i've supported it since before launch and followed it and been really excited that's just i just don't really know what else to even say other than you know it's 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 sad really <laughs> that's that's all it is it's just sad you know best case scenario it gets patched on tuesday or thursday or you know actually best case scenario it gets patched on monday I don't, I don't really see a monday patch coming but maybe tuesday or thursday worst case scenario it's it's maybe next thursday but by that point, you know, double XP is going to be over because double XP is this weekend. Um, and about that, I mean, I know I know they probably were planning to have double XP no matter what, even if the update went flawless on Thursday, like it was going to be double XP here, you know, anniversary, woohoo. But at this point, it's just kind of like, yo, you know, the game's really fucked up. Sorry about that. Here's some double XP to maybe make you feel better. And while I guess it makes me feel a little better, I'm not lying, it does. I like the double XP. Uh, it's still it's still sad because it's just hard to still get into a game 
Um, I tried to play Thursday night. Couldn't even get into a game. I tried on the PC version um, from the Microsoft Store. Kept getting error codes. I tried from the Xbox version and I could get into the game. But as soon as I loaded and found a lobby, it booted me back to the main menu. So I couldn't even couldn't do anything. Um, I decided to play Steam and from a fresh account, so I got to level six, so that was cool, but <laughs> yeah, still sad. Um, now, to take this conversation in a little di different direction, on the flip side of things, you know, clearly Gun and Black Tower, there's no way they're happy with this update either. Um, you know, they, I'm sure, you know, they see everything despite saying put a ticket in, you know, they know the state of the game, like they have to be aware. And actually, let me take a step back. When I couldn't get into a game Thursday night, I actually put a ticket in. It was probably 10, 10 o'clock at night. I put a ticket in about that and they replied within 10 minutes, which I thought was really cool. Um, it, they did say they were working on a, a Microsoft patch, which I'm sure means they're working on a patch for every, um, store the game can be on but at least you know they are responsive or whoever's in charge of their ticket inbox is responsive i for what for what it's worth that was nice um but yeah i mean really you know gun black tower clearly aren't happy this is big enough of a blunder that like i would not be surprised if someone loses their job over this i don't really know how you know these are small teams so maybe nothing happens and who knows maybe maybe it's not I guess we don't really know whose fault it is. It, it, it I, and maybe we'll, we'll never know, but clearly it's bad. Um, I, I just don't really understand how it, it can get to this point, you know. And and before you say, you know, hey, it's the it's the QA team, it's the play testers. No one plays the game. Like that's not clearly that's not the case. They have play testers. Um, it, it's not that's not how it works. It's not that this version wasn't play tested. It's just there was some issue when it got actually pushed forward with the patch. That's where things broke. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's no way anyone in their right man would look at this and say, you know, oh, pretty good job so far. You know, it looks pretty good. But yeah, it's not. That's that's just not how it goes. Um, it's just sad. I, I'm gonna say it again. It's just sad. <laughs> you know, we're at the hypest point in the year in the game's lifespan. Everyone's excited. Um, but yeah, that's that's all it is. I don't want to be a full on ranter, a Debbie Downer, because there's no point, in, you know, crying and throwing a fit and telling the devs to kill themselves. It's you know that don't do that that's that's stupid and pointless but you know i i do think the game will bounce back i think it'll be patched in the next you know it'll be patched soon enough it'll be fixed everything will be back to normal we'll probably get a double xp extension life will go on um and you know i i, I at the end of the day i do think the game will still be able to succeed um and thrive despite you know this bad update and bugs and stuff that are still in the game you know they're really the game plays pretty well there's there's minor you know that not right now the game doesn't play very well but you know throughout the, its year thus far it has played pretty well there's always going to be a couple bugs in games there's going to be some bad patches it's just it's just the nature of things that's, that's how it happens it's, it's like that for literally every single game it's just like a horrible timing right now and a big missed opportunity that's that's all it is um yeah i mean really that's that's i guess all that i have to say to be honest the game is still playable you just kind of have to hope and pray that you get the character that you picked in the lobby and get the perks that you picked i loaded into many games where my perks had been reset to default perks so hopefully that doesn't happen and you know hopefully you don't load into a game with two leather faces because that also can happen um <laughs> But yeah, you know, at, at the end of the day, I do really, really, really love this game and I will still play it. I'm very, very, very thankful um, to Gun and, you know, the team for bringing this game. It, it's it really is a masterpiece. It is so fun um, on both sides. Um, you know, it's got a couple of hiccups and flaws, but, you know, hopefully the next update, it, it gets back on track and we can get a proper anniversary for the game you know i'm not even going to call this anniversary anymore this is just a bad update hopefully you know once this gets fixed then we can get the true anniversary so i guess that's really all i have to say um if you're still here listening to me yeah thank you <laughs> please consider liking the video subscribing um the support recently has been pretty crazy and I, i'm really grateful so thank you guys so so much um but yeah, that's all I have. Have a good rest of your day, gamers, and happy anniversary, TCM.